Dad, the pot is boiling over. Oh, can you turn it down, please? The curry looks done. Do you want me to turn it off? No, it still needs to simmer for about thirty minutes. Okay. What time is dinner? Dinner will be ready in about an hour. Dad, what time are you leaving for work? I have to go early today, so I'm leaving here about eight o'clock. Could you give me a ride to school? Sure. Why do you want to go so early? I have a band practice at eight. Oh, okay. Maybe we can leave a bit earlier then. Here's the peanut butter. Great. I'll cross it off the list. What's left on the list now? Just carrots and onions. Did you get the ice cream? No, it's not on the list. What? Aaron, you don't look well. I don't feel well. You feel hot. I'd better check your temperature. Put this under your tongue. Well, how is it? Hmm, thirty-nine point two degrees. You have a fever. You'd better go lie down. Aaron, why aren't you in bed? I can't sleep. I've got a toothache. I'll go get you something for the pain. I think I have a cavity. We'll make an appointment to see the dentist in the morning. Now take this and try and get some sleep. Okay. Thanks, Dad. One. Can I borrow your umbrella? It's raining. Two. This fog is really thick. I can't see a thing. Three. Brr. It's chilly. It must be minus ten. Four. Look at the tree sway. It's windy today. Five. Did you hear that thunder? It looks like a storm is coming. Six. This sunshine is nice. We should go to the beach. Seven. It's thirty-five degrees. Let's get something cool to drink. Eight. It's cloudy again today. I wish the sun would come out. Nine. There's no wind at all. It's completely calm. Ten. It's snowing. Let's go make a snowman. Do you want to come over to my house for dinner tonight? I'd love to. What time? We were having dinner at seven, so come over about six. Should I bring anything? We have lots of food, but you can bring a bottle of wine if you like. Okay, I'll pick up a bottle of wine then. One. Did you fix the toilet? I did. You can use it now. Two. Did you call your mom? Not yet. I'll call her after lunch. Three. Did you finish your homework? Yep, I finished it after school. Four. Did you feed the dog? Oops, sorry, I forgot. Five. Did you lock the door? No, I don't have a key. Six. Did you have lunch? Nope. I'm starving. Seven. Did you pick up some bread? Yep, it's on the counter. Eight. Did you ask your mom if you could go? Yep, she said it was okay. Nine. Did you fill the car up with gas? No, I'll do that after work. Ten. Did you buy some milk? I did. It's in the fridge. What's wrong? My stomach is upset. Are you sick or something? No, I shouldn't have eaten so much of that spicy pasta. But it was so wonderful. I'm paying for it now, though. I'm gonna be late for work. Why don't you take a cab? It's rush hour. The subway is faster. You better get going then. I will. Have a great day. You too. Aaron, could you do me a favor? 
I need someone to go to the store. I'm kind of busy. What are you doing? I'm studying for my English test. Oh, okay. I'll ask your brother. Thanks, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Take a look outside. Wow, the fog is really thick. Yeah, I can't see a thing. I'm glad I don't have to drive anywhere today. It sure is muggy today. Tell me about it. My skin feels so sticky. I can't stop sweating. My clothes are soaked. We should get changed and go for a swim. Good idea. Let's head back to the hotel. Do you want to watch a movie with me? I can't. I'm busy. I have to do some chores for mom. Oh? What do you have to do? I have to clean my room and I have to do the dishes. Well, maybe we can watch the movie after your chores. Okay. That sounds good. Mrs. Dogwood, your medicine is ready. Great, thank you. Now take two tablets as needed for pain. Do not exceed ten tablets per day. Drink plenty of water. That's two tablets for pain, right? No more than twenty tablets daily. Not twenty tablets daily. The maximum is ten per day. Oh, I see. No more than ten per day. That's correct. Thank you. What can I get you? I'd like the seafood pasta. Good choice. Anything to drink? Yes, I'll have a Diet Cola, please. Anything to start? No, that's all. Thanks. Can I take your order? I'd like a medium coffee. How would you like your coffee? Black, please. Here you are. That'll be $1.95. Thank you. Good afternoon. Mr. Kelly's office. Hello, it's William Dean. Can I make an appointment with Mr. Kelly, please? Yeah, certainly. Can you come on Monday the 19th of June at half past three? No, I'm sorry. I can't make that. I'm at a conference. Well, can you come on Thursday the 22nd of June at quarter past ten? Yes, that's fine. OK. So that's Thursday the 22nd of June at quarter past ten. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Are you travelling to Dubai? Yes, I am. Can I see your ticket and passport, please? Uh, here you are. Thank you. How many bags are you checking in? Two. Did you pack the bags yourself? Yes, I did. Has anyone given you anything to carry? No, they haven't. Can I see your hand luggage, please? Yes. Uh, here it is. Thank you. That's fine. Now, would you like a window seat or an aisle seat? An aisle seat, please. Here's your boarding card. Boarding is at 8.15 from gate number 12. Have a nice flight. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. What about you? I'm good. My name is Jane. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from? I'm from the United States. And you? I'm from England. Can I help you? Yes, I'm a new student. Welcome to the university. Can I have your name? Stefani. How do you spell Stefani? S T E F A N I E. And what's your family name? My family name's Young. Okay, Stefani. 
Here's your student card. Thank you. Oh, my family name is not correct. Oh, sorry. How do you spell it? It's young. Y O U N G Y O U N G That's right. That's fine, Stefani. You'll stay in the room 101. Room 101? Yes. Brad Churchill, nice to meet you. Sue Takahashi, nice to meet you too. Your English is very good. Thanks, but I'm from Canada. Oh, I'm sorry, but Takahashi is a Japanese name. Yes, my family is from Japan, but I'm Canadian. Ah, yes, my name's Churchill, very English. <laughs> but I'm Australian, from Sydney. Oh, I know Sydney. Really? Hey, let's go and have a coffee. Okay, yeah, I'd really like to. Hello? Hi, Tony. It's Bill. Hi, Bill. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Did you have a good weekend? No, I didn't. I had an accident on Saturday morning. I fell off a ladder. Off a ladder? Did you hurt yourself? Yes, I hurt my ankle. Where did it happen? In the garden. What did you do? Did you go to the hospital? Yes. Well, luckily my wife was in and she took me to hospital in the car. That's good. What did they do at the hospital? The doctor looked at it and I had an x-ray. Is it OK? Well, it isn't broken, but it's very painful. Can you walk? Yes, I can, but I can't drive. Oh dear. Well, I hope it's OK soon. Anyway, I suppose you don't want to play tennis tomorrow then. Have you got any brothers and sisters, Lucy? No, I haven't. What about you? I've got a sister, but I haven't got any brothers. Is your sister married? Yes, she is. Has she got any children? No, she hasn't. Well, not yet, anyway. <laughs> have you got a photo? Yes, I have. I've got some photos of my family in that drawer over there. Oh, she's got lovely long dark hair. No, she hasn't got dark hair. She's got fair hair. Oh, that isn't my sister. That's uh, Rachel, an old girlfriend. Now, why have I got that in there? Yes, I wonder. Hi, Mary. Hi, Jack. You look very healthy. Do you often take exercise recently? Yes, I do. I go to the gymnasium twice a week. That's good for you. What do you often do at the gym? There are many apparatus, such as running machine, dumbbell, dynamic bicycle, etc. Oh, that's too much for me. I want to do some light sports. For girls, yoga, bodybuilding exercise, and dancing are good choices. That sounds interesting. I'd like to go and have a try. Don't hesitate anymore. Haha, <laughs> thanks for your information. You're welcome. I have been noticing you for quite a time. You look really strong, man. Thank you. I have kept taking exercise here for almost two years. 
Two years? That's amazing. I have only been here for two months. I don't think I can hold this on consistently and persistently. It's nothing difficult. You need to make yourself a plan at the beginning. Then just do according to it. Good idea. I also want to have strong muscle like yours. It is quite attractive. Do you have any advice? Sure. The bodybuilding apparatus are necessary for you. After exercise, you need to eat food contains carbohydrate. I will do as you said. Okay, I can't wait to see your progress. Thank you. It's very kind of you. You are welcome. How can I help you? Well, I have oily skin, and there's always small bumps here and there on my face. They are really irritating. How can I get rid of them? Well, I would suggest that you wash your face often. Every night you should rinse your face with lukewarm water, then pat it dry with a clean towel. Make sure you don't rub it dry. Then you apply this cream to your face. Oh, this cream? Yeah, it's pretty effective in wiping out pore clogging dirt and oil. It rids your face of dead cells and helps stimulate circulation. Do you know anyone who's had plastic surgery? You mean like breast enlargement? I don't think that's really necessary. That's not the way a woman should stay attractive. Why not? Why can't we go back to the way things were? Cause... I don't know. But Connie, you wouldn't do that, would you? Darned right I would. Maybe makeup would be enough. Come on, Liz. Be open-minded. I really hope surgery can wipe out the tired feelings. But what would other people think? I don't care what other people think. I'm ready for a lift. Great. So you're here with Mark. I've been looking all over for you. Congratulations on your marriage, Jane. And nice to meet you, Paul. Thank you. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, a grand wedding party. Have you opened the gift I gave you? Yes, thanks a lot. Hawaii is a nice place for the honeymoon. What wedding gift did she give you? Two plane tickets to Hawaii. I want to thank you as well, Mark. I love the picture. It's just what we need. I'm glad you like them. It's late. I think I'll have to go now. I'm leaving too. Let me give you a ride. Here is my invitation for you. Thank you. Let me have a look. Your wedding will be held on next Friday? Yes, as you see. Congratulations! Thank you. Will you come then? Of course I will. You are my best friend. Your best friend has a request for you. What is it? Would you like to be my bridesmaid? Oh, I'm glad to. I will make good preparations for it. 